Welcome to beautiful Nokia Finland and the 2016 European Open. It's the 10th anniversary of the European Open that started in 2006 at Eppola Disc Golf Park. It has now expanded to the Nokia Sports Park Center, aka the Beast Disc Golf Course. It has grown to the largest disc golf event in Europe. The stage is set, the weather is beautiful, let's go. The Beast, it's a world-class disc golf course full of incredible holes. Like this, hole number 11, it's our hole of the day, presented by Disc Golf Park. Hole number 11, it's 120 meters, 394 feet, a very challenging par three. It has OB stretching down both sides of the fairway, right and left. It also has a small pond just short right of the green. As a player, you might lay up a drive short to walk away with a three. Or if you're getting challenging, attack it from the right side, a big wide right hyzer to walk away with a birdie. Now let's check out the top four players after round one. Here we have Simon Lazat. The kid feeling loose, feeling good. Hole one, trying to get it going, trying to get started. Throwing a decent shot there, short left side. It has struggled with the putter early on, real slow start to the round. Just trying to make something happen. He's had a recent past uh, struggles at the Beast, never really getting off to a a solid start and never making the league card in the past. So this was a huge round for him. Hole two, get down there. Another putt, another par. Moving on, slow start, only one down after the front nine. Here we are to the back. Hole 11, big towering hyzer shot, skip up in the circle, on the green, easy birdie. Simon on a tear going Seven down for the round. Six down just on the back nine. A good shot to the sweet spot. A very routine hyzer making hole 18 look really easy. By far the closest drop in birdie that we saw all day. Simon for seven under par, round one. And here we have a veteran of the European Open, KJ Naibo, recently turned 38 years old. A definite veteran here and one of the better players in Europe. Showing him how it's done, a birdie on hole one. Goes to birdie the first four holes to start the round. Struggled on hole eight, took a double bogey, triple in the circle putt. Here on hole nine, opts for the forehand, getting a long putt, leaving it low. He's gonna take a par on nine, moving through the middle section of the course, picking up a couple birdies. Here we are in 15. Standard sidearm check off the hay bale. Easy drop in putt on elevated basket on 15. 16, perfectly placed drive, center cut fairway. Setting up a great shot into the green, checks up for another drop in birdie. Putting with the driver, love to see that. And KJ getting caught up on 18. Good tee shot. Here's a second shot, high, right, short, and that's OB. Not the finish he was looking for. Takes his meter. Not really gonna give this a run, just leaving it low, checking it up there, dropping bogey to shoot seven under for the round. And here he is, Mick Beast, playing the beast. Had a slow start, took an early bogey on two. Trying to get it going through the front nine. Onto the back, a huge drive on hole 10, one of the longest drives of the day. Set up a very easy putter into the green. He did go on to birdie nine of the next 11 holes through the midsection of the course. As you see Paul here, has an injury to the knee. You'd see it changes putting style up quite a bit, going straddle putt as he drops in on 10. Big hyzer on 11, and sets up another little tap in straddle putt on 11 for the birdie. On a good little stretch, 
Macbeth went OB on 16's drive. Second shot in, and then third shot to the green for a tap in. Par barely slops it in there, bounced around, and there will be a par four on 18. Drive OB, second shot back inbounds, trying to get the par, runs it a little long, a tap in bogey to finish at eight under par. Ricky Wysocki, off to a fast start, birdie in the first hole, big sidearm on hole two, just outside the circle, and you know what he does. Bang, dead center for birdie on hole two. He did go on to bury the first five holes of the round. Slow midsection. He only had one birdie of the next seven holes. Missed the first shot on the island green 16. Places a second one in. Tap in for par. Here at 18. A big drive right to the sweet spot. Catches a tree. That's where you want to be. Ricky Wysocki trying to score on hole 18, finish the round. Big hyzer shot, carrying left. Could be short, could be in bounds. Checks off the fence, it does stay in bounds. Gets the green flag, co-leader in the clubhouse at eight under par. We just completed the first round of the 2016 European Open. Here I have co-leader Ricky Wysocki. How'd the round go today? Went well, you know, I started off uh, birding my first five holes in a row. And, you know, I just, I kept, I kept the momentum going through the first five. And, you know, I was, I fizzled a lot after that, but I was just glad to get off to a good start here at the, the beast. Cause you know, never know when, you, when the next bogey's gonna linger. So you know, I was just glad to jump off to an early, st good start. So the conditions, uh, I know it's beautiful out here. Sun is shining. The wind is kind of ripping on the last couple holes. How'd you manage on the last three holes? Well, you know, I had a few out of bounds in the last three. I kind of limped in at the end. You know, I went OB on uh, 16, the Island Green, and as well on 17. So I saved par on 16, and, you know, I, I ended up with a bogey on 17. So, you know, I, I ended up, and I also finished with a birdie. So I was glad to start and finish very strong. So I was just glad with the start for today. I'm here with Paul Macbeth. How'd it go today? How'd the round go, and how did it finish out? Started out really slow, early bogey, um, and then finished pretty slow. Uh, you know, two out of bounds in the final three holes and then a missed putt that I should have made. So uh, those, the start and finish were tough, but in that middle section, I really had it going. Now I know you have some ailments, some physical uh, injuries, if you will, and uh, I saw you change your putting style. How's that working out for you today? It was good. Uh, I made all but, you know, one putt inside the circle. Um, kind of feel like I still made that one, but it didn't fall in. Uh, so putting was pretty solid today. Uh, overall inside the circle, outside, no outside the circle putts, but you know, I gotta figure that out. And here's your disc golf metrics after round one at the European Open. We've selected three players. We have Paul Macbeth and Ricky Wisaki, currently tied for first, shooting 56, eight under par. Simon Lozat, shooting a 57, currently tied for third with KJ Naibo at seven under par. Now let's look into the details of their scoring throughout the round. Paul Macbeth, 10 birdies on the round, but did find trouble. Three penalty strokes and two bogeys. When you compare it to Ricky Wysocki, nine birdies, three penalty strokes, but only occurred one bogey during the round. Simon Lazat, by far the cleanest of the three. Eight birdies, one bogey, and one penalty stroke. Green hits, Paul Macbeth proving why is the best driver and the number one ranked player in the Disc Golf World Tour with a 61% green hit percentage, currently ranked first. Ricky Wysocki and Simon Lazat, currently ranked six with a 44% green hits for round one. And here's proving why these players are atop the leaderboards today. Putting percentage inside the circle. Simon Lazat with 100% putting percentage inside the circle, perfect for the day. Currently ranked first, Paul Macbeth and Ricky Wysocki only missing one putt inside the circle for round one. And here's the bonus putts that make a difference. Paul Macbeth and Simon Lozat failing to hit any putts outside the circle, while Ricky Wysocki displaying why he's one of the best putters in the world, hitting two putts outside the circle. And it's a battle atop the leaderboard and the four players that people expected to be there, Paul Macbeth and Ricky Wysocki, Tied at eight under par. 
Simlazat and KJ Naibo, both sitting at seven under par, only one stroke back to round out the league card. Fifth through 10th, a bunch of local Finnish players, only a few strokes back of the lead. There's been some incredible action and some beautiful weather here in Nokia, Finland. Tune in tomorrow for more coverage of the 2016 European Open.